Hello everybody, this is Anarchy Ball, reporting live from Baltimore's world famous Old Town Mall. And I know a lot of you are really disappointed that there aren't any football games coming to your town, there aren't any bands playing in your area, but I got some good news for you. You see this rot and this decay all around me at the Old Town Mall? You see all these little small businesses that are all shuttered and rotting right here? Nobody's doing anything with them? Well, I got some good news for you. Old Town Mall is doing a world tour. You ain't got to come to Baltimore. Baltimore's coming to you. Look around. You can have all these shuttered businesses in your neck of the woods and you ain't even got to do anything about it. In fact, the more you do nothing, the more Old Town Mall will come to your town. We're going worldwide. Old Town Mall everywhere, all the time. Enjoy it. It's going to be great, y'all. You can just sit back, let the government tell you what to do, and you too can enjoy your old town mall. And there's no reason to worry about missing old town mall. It's going to stay. You're going to get old town mall all year round. You ain't got to worry about old town mall season. Right? You're going to have big old trees growing out of your buildings you're gonna have all sorts of stuff look at this old town mall look at that you got child care old town mall is coming to your neighborhood and you know the only places that are going to be caring about this sort of stuff well if you protest if you protest you're gonna have a problem because the cops are gonna beat your face in you don't want Old Town Mall and you want you want a life, you want a, a future, that's too goddamn bad. Because they've got other plans for you. They've got other plans for your entire family. So enjoy it. Enjoy that Old Town Mall experience. All right? Get out there and enjoy not being able to buy anything. Because it's the Soviet Union. Soviet Union, Old Town Mall Worldwide. I want to get t-shirts printed up. Say Old Town Mall World Tour 2020. <laughs> oh, don't worry though. Don't, there will be shops that are going to be open, but it's not going to be small businesses like uh, New York Fashions Plus or uh, almost new used furniture, closeout items or your music. No, 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 no. You're going to get corporate vanguard businesses coming in if you've noticed how always these other little shops open up right next to the walmart all the same kind of stores all the way around the country it's because they've got a nice vanguard corporate structure of conglomerates that do everything they do together they pay off the local townships they pay off your little politicians who claim to do so much for you. They're going to set up shop and make everything else into the old town mall. And you know what? We probably deserve it. We've let them get away with so much over the years that this is kind of what we deserve. We want to close everything down. We want to have our, our little safety precautions. Well, this is what you get. This is what you get. You get the society that you let them get away with. It's a nice day out here in the Old Town Mall. Old Town Mall. Look at that. Everywhere is going to be the Old Town. You know, this place was started in 1818 with all these different neighborhoods coming together. Buying and, and selling and trading right here right you had a couple of establishments pop up people 
willing to put themselves out there or risk their livelihoods to buy, sell, and trade to these neighborhoods, and guess what happened? The overhead was too high because taxes went up. And they wanted to keep places like this with low property values a little bit higher. You got to keep them a little bit higher than what they should be in a market so that people who own homes don't feel like they're losing value on their homes. All right? So you can't let these places sell off for their market average, which would be yeah, pretty much nothing. 10, 20 bucks for a storefront around here. But instead of having them sell off for 10 to 20 bucks, you know, the market rate, we're going to keep it all shuttered. We're going to say, oh, no, look, state's got to come in and put these places into state ownership, state holding. And the state holding is not really much different than these, uh, these big old corporate uh, conglomerates. Not really different at all. In fact, you'll find the same people in both of them. But guess what? It's okay. They can keep the value of their properties. We have to keep looking at the old town mall everywhere we go. And it's coming. It's coming. Old town mall world tour, baby. We're coming to your neighborhood. You ain't got to come to Baltimore. Baltimore's coming to you. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a great time, everybody. We're going to have a nice, nice time chilling at the old town mall. And there are still black and gray market transactions going on here. It's a great place for black and gray market transactions, right? Because there ain't nothing else going on. But those people, well, you know, they live in fear of the government too, just like the, uh, the shop owners who used to live here and now had to shutter and leave. And for the people worried about crime, don't worry, there's no crime going on in the Old Town Mall. We don't snitch over here. <laughs> we ain't snitching. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing. We make a little money on the side. Maybe you'll join us doing a couple of gray and black market transactions in, in your very own Old Town Mall. Because that's all that's going on. All right? Look at that. You can just kick in those doors and take up residence anywhere you want to. Ooh, look at that beautiful architecture. Hey, Morning Dove. Chilling out up there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got boards on some of the windows. We can't get boards on all of them. <laughs> Who would want to go in there? Who would want to live here? Well, somebody or some people are forced to. They got nothing else going on. Look at that, you got the old town mall fire museum. Sharp dressed man looks like one of the last holdouts. Now that one's closed too. Oh yeah. That's the highlights. That's the highlights. We're coming to your town sooner than you expect. Enjoy. Enjoy those uh those local tyrants telling you how much you can and can't charge. Telling you what's condemned and what's not condemned. Telling you what the property value should be so that they don't have to worry about their little corporate crony businesses. Everything must go. You know, pretty soon, the only jobs that are, that are going to be left are the bulldozer operators that are going to take out your little old town mall. It's the only things you can do be a little planner maybe maybe make some money off of uh, some demo out here get in there and rip out those stairs oh it's gonna be so much fun old town mall world, world tour we're coming to your neighborhood keep a lookout for us we'll be there thank you to everybody who joined Taxation is, is still pretty high in Baltimore. You'd think that they'd want to get a lot more people in here so that they could fix up places like this. But they don't seem to care all that much.
All right, everybody. It was nice talking to you. Enjoy the Old Town Mall World Tour 2020.